Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nandi, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your daily vibe. Let's tap into the energy, what's going on for today, November 30th, 2020. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Capricorn, as you all know, my readings are meant to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And they are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. As you all know, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot, guys. Reverse the roles as need be. If you would like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. <clears throat> and don't forget, uh, like I said, don't forget to check your other placements. The first card that came out, guys, in your pre-shuffle here, I have the fool in the reverse. So I feel that somebody made the wrong choice here. There's somebody within your circle, someone that you are personally dealing with, possibly in a relationship that made the wrong move here, okay? And this is burdening them, totally taking them for a loop. This person feels that that they they know that they made the wrong mistake. They know that they that they they turned their back on a good thing, okay? With the seven of staff here, I feel that this person um, gave up too soon. They gave up too soon. They were very in and out. Their energy was very in and out. They were, in a sense, kind of non-committal. I would say they would just come in whenever they felt like it. And you started, you you started kind of backing off from this person because you didn't want to deal with this anymore. You were starting to see a trend between this person uh, with their energy, and you just kind of had enough of it. But now this person is regretting the, the mistakes that they've made in the past with you. What else, universe? What else do we have here for Capricorn? The Knight of Coins in the reverse. And then I got the Judgment card in the reverse. So yeah, definitely this person is, has a lot of regret. They know that they made the wrong decision. They went towards the wrong person. They should have, they, I feel, I just heard they should have paid more attention to you is what I'm getting, okay? This person made the wrong judgment call. This person is in, totally regretful of what they have done here. With the knight with the knight of pentacles in the reverse, I feel that you totally put a stop to this connection. Like you stop putting any type of emphasis, any type of work with this person. You started becoming very cold, very standoffish, not allowing them to communicate with you. You weren't wanting to deal with this anymore. And this person can feel that, can feel that energy. And they have come to recognize, they have come to realize that they made the wrong choice. Now this person wants to come in and start communicating with you. They have a lot of things that they want to tell you, okay? With the two of coins here, this person is really stuck in their head thinking, how are they going to come back and save this connection that they want to bring in from out of the cold? Because they know in the past they caused you so much grief, okay? And you've moved on from this. You've moved on from the grief. You've been able to heal yourself and move on. This person could have had you in a third party situation and you felt backstabbed by this person by doing so because you never, you never... You, your intention in this connection wasn't to make this person feel like, you know, um, how can I put it? Like, you never wanted to hurt this person, so you don't understand why they hurt you, okay? So, and this person is totally regretting hurting you, having another person in the connection here. Let's see. With the Five of Swords, yep, this person was definitely being very deceptive. They could have been cheating, lying. You know, they're just playing the field, you know. They're, they're looking back at other people like they... They didn't know what they had in front of them, okay, is what I'm getting with this card. They didn't know what they had in front of them. That's why they kept on looking back. And with this Nine of Cups now, this person wants to come in and offer you an apology, offer you their heart. They're going to start communicating with you little by little via text message. They're going to tell you that they're tired of being the old person. They're tired of dealing with old scenarios, that they're ready to release all of that stuff. They want to heal this broken heart. They're prepared to tell you the truth. They're prepared to let you know whatever it is that you're wanting them, whatever it is that you're questioning them about, okay? In regards to the five of staff here, I feel that in the past, there was a lot of people meddling in your connection, okay? And this person is prepared to come in and fight for you. This is this person right now with the eight of swords. They're depressed. They're alone. They feel like they have lost everything with you. But they definitely know that they're not confused anymore. They know what they want. And this is going to hit you like a ton of bricks because you never expected this person to come back and make an offer here of a higher level commitment. You never expected this person to want to commit to this connection. 
you guys make each other happy okay when this person communicates with you it's gonna make you happy you're gonna see a light at the end of the tunnel you're gonna feel like finally this connection is headed on the right path to happiness to be able to achieve all the goals that you and this person have spoken about in the past with the page of coins if you're accustomed to this person bringing you some type of flowers or gift they're definitely coming with something in hand they're going to tell you that they have a lot of love for you they see you as the queen of cups as a very loving person and with the ten of coins here this person wants stability oh wow and the ten of cups this person wants stability and love they want all of this with you okay this person is definitely coming towards you for a new beginning full of love and full of stability okay if this person was very non-committal in the past they are not coming back that way anymore what is the advice here for Capricorn Universe? What is the overall advice here for Capricorn? What is the overall advice for Capricorn? You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. And this is exactly their energy. This is exactly the way this person is coming in. Okay, They want to stay here. They want to be with you now. Now they recognize all the mistakes. They recognize everything that they did. They they have come to terms and they have realized that they made the wrong decision. They made the wrong judgment call. And they want to come back and, and revive this connection. They want a second opportunity with you. All right, guys, I hope this resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. If you would like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.